Hello and welcome. It is uh, the end of the year for 2016. Let's take a look at gold on multiple time frames, starting within the daily chart. I'll be using my old chart formats for the gold video as the new one that I have used. I have yet to set up to uh, put other charts in so that uh, so the other charts for silver will be used in this format. Looking at right in here let's explain what happened here because it's a very interesting pattern to say the least it came from an area where it was going sideways broke down below support and then one leg lower and then within that recovery stage it was consolidating well within the 18 average and there's your break above resistance right in here and after such the correctionary phase came back down to this point. So resistance established. All you need to do is break it. And oh boy, did it ever do such. Because on this day, it goes all the way up. And this was on the night of the election up to 1300 and change. Yet the following morning, it gave it all back. And then it followed within a trend of continuous movement below the 18 average. Uh, and now since it is in its real first consolidation phase within it, this level here isn't that much higher than the 18 average band and it hasn't had a great break above it. So I'm looking like in here, resistance to be established. And that's this is where it shows you that not always when you play by the book that you're going to win when you're trying to do any type of day trades, which is why you make your own book in, okay, what risk reward strategies do I want to do? How do I want to protect myself from these sort of losses? So on and so forth. But as we look at this, it's in a possible area where it could be consolidating and then trying to build uh, into a possible new uh, bull market, but it's pretty obvious that the simple strategy would be a break of this level means that you're going to be making another leg lower. So let's take a look at this on further time frames, see what support level we may encounter if we break below, because resistance, we can see two numbers right here. 1200 and 1250, just rounding at even numbers. So I guess that level would be the previous low of November when we look at this on the weekly. And that is in at 1045. And again, we can round it to 1050. Within the Fibonacci retracement, interesting, interesting situation because we're using these lows and these highs, which are pretty obvious to be used when I'm looking at a chart like this. And the first time it finds support after a big break below this level, a big large move. And then comes back to this band. So there's your test within and there's your break below that confirmed level and betting below that to go lower was a successful bet. And you could get out here, even if it goes lower, mathematically, it's a winning play. But it's at that situation where it hasn't found much support at this level. Rather, it's found resistance. It didn't crush its way through lower because when I see a move here, I'm expecting the most po possible situations when it comes here is it has a significant bounce. That's, no, it didn't do that. Number two, it goes lower and it keeps going lower. Sort of like the move that you see in here. No, it didn't do that. And the next one is it finds resistance at it. And that's what the play thus far is looking at. So now it's one of two things. It's that finding resistance at it, breaking down below support. Then we're going to be testing the lower area. Another one, failed breakdown. So really that's the two ones. And a failed breakdown means it eventually soon, without really retracing much below these levels, is going to go up into this area where it would eventually reach the band and neutralize and then probably quickly after that 
get above it and establish resistance above the band. That's what I'd be expecting on the either or situation. So again, let's expand this chart out again for the third of four time frames for gold, which will be the monthly, the final one will be the yearly. And let's take a look. This is going back to 2008 from the big lows of about 700. Let's do some rounding. And you can round this at 19, 100, 19 and a quarter. Maybe you can round it at 2000, but we'll go 19 and a quarter. And within this one here, this is this is the interesting part about Fibonacci fail, really, but it kind of, and it, it kind of is, and it isn't, but if you're waiting to buy at this level, then, well, it didn't work. And this is a spot where usually it isn't that far off. It is, if it's a pierce above, it's going to be like somewhere close to it, and that's a Fibonacci hit, I guess you would say, but I'll call that a Fibonacci fail. Either way, it's uh, working in within this area that with, within the Fibonacci over the last, well, since 2012, 2013, it's been going sideways because you had the uptrend within this 18 average. So you see the bands going sideways, consolidating its uptrend at that point, and then breaking down below, establishing support, and it really hasn't done anything since. So you've had this little leg lower and nothing more. Therefore, what are the key levels? Well, the key levels are the slow as well as Fibonacci. So a thousand, especially when we look, uh, the 2000, the highs before here happened to be 1029, just before this point here. So it came down from 1029. So a thousand is a key level here. Eh, a 14. So 1400 and a thousand. Anything within that range on these longer term time frame charts is neutral. Final chart, the yearly chart. I'm not going to explain much about in here because that's interesting when I do a circle like that, it does that type of pattern. Anyway, it was manipulated back then. So, What's changed? Well, it was manipulated here and here and here and here and here and here and everywhere on this chart. And within the manipulation, it's been in an uptrend. This situation in here, the reason for this uptrend or up move was they decided to make gold illegal. You're forced to bring it in, citizens. And shortly thereafter, oh, that, that $20 price, yeah, it's now 35 We got all the gold, but it's now 35 and, now the market now it trades on the market all of a sudden and it instantly surges from 35 up to about a couple hundred and at this point here right at this top it was like okay guys oh, oh you, can, you can now buy gold oh, we're sorry for making it illegal but you can buy gold again and then boom they smash it down from like 200 down to like 100 to scare some people out those who were strong and held they got the gains and those who held and were strong here well, you're back in the green. And that's an important lesson, I think, to learn for anyone who's been buying the silver at 20, and even gold up in here too, at these higher levels, that sometimes you have to let this neutrality come through. But that's uh, where we stand today within several years up for gold in a row. Since the about a dozen or so up years in a row, three down years in a row, and this year was a gain of 8.6%, or a little under 100. So, technically, it's been one decent down year, neutrality, one very small down year, which stayed with the neutrality, and a very small up year. Up year. Again, standing neutrality, 1,000, to 1400 that is going to be the uh, key range when you look at it so if you're playing within that number th these this these numbers here don't mean too much other than it's on the it's closer to a thousand so it's more probable right now that support would be broken it also means it's more cheaper to buy now if you're buying within that range 
So thank you for tuning in to the gold analysis and have a great 2017. Bye-bye.